Christian fam. Thank y'all for joining us on that Christian fam. If growing in a faith is important to you, hit that subscribe button because over here we like to encourage, empower, and give you everyday practical Christian advice on real life situations. We drop videos whenever we drop videos. So hit that notification bell because for the first half hour when we drop videos, we respond to comments immediately. I want to talk about trophy wives. Let's talk about trophy wives today. All right. Now, my pastor said something um, really interesting a while ago, and I think he said this on multiple occasions. He talked about how he has, has won multiple plaques, how he has won multiple awards, has won several trophies. But at this point in his life, he don't want no more plaques. He don't want no more trophies. He don't want nothing like that he don't i don't want you 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 no more plaques no more trophies why i'm gonna tell you why they're like why jermaine i'm gonna tell you why because they really don't amount to nothing they don't it's not about the plaque it's not about the trophy all right it, it, it's about the value, what value can be added to me that benefits my life and doesn't simply take up space. Oh, I'm gonna say that again. What takes or what brings value to my life and doesn't simply just take up space. Because I got news for you. For those of us men out there who just want trophy wives, that chick is just taking up space. She's just taking up space. Let's go to Proverbs 11.22. Proverbs 11.22. says, like a gold ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful woman who shows no discretion. I'll say it again. Proverbs 11.22. Like a like a gold ring in the pig's snout is a beautiful woman who shows no discretion. Let me elaborate on that. All right. So the depiction the author is trying to make is this. All right. A person who stumbles upon a gold ring in a pig's snout. Now, keep in mind, oftentimes the pigs are deep buried in mud. But you go to and you see this gold ring sticking out. Oh, you know. Oh, wow. It's my, it's my, it's, I don't believe in love, but they say it's my lucky day. You know what I'm saying? I found a gold ring and as beautiful as that ring is, it's tied to the snout of a pig. Once they pull and wash that mud off and you'll find out, oh, wow, this ring is beautiful, but it comes with a whole bunch of baggage. And, and 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 there's a lot of dudes who have been, been have been duped, who have been hoodwinked and bamboozled because you fell for somebody simply because they look good, but they weren't good. You fell for somebody who was beautiful on the outside, but their inside was trash. You fell for somebody from the streets. I'm out from the streets. I get the money. That's what she might be. I hate him. I know. I know you do. I hate him. Listen, this is real life story. Real life story. I have seen dudes who quote unquote had the trophy wife. A couple months they were divorced. Why? Why? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. And these are things that not only they admitted to, but the woman admitted to as well. All right. And, and this might be, and you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it now. We have far too many women today who are so concerned about the exterior when the interior is hot garbage. When the interior is... From the streets! You can look as elaborate. You can have your nails did. You can have your lashes, which most dudes don't even like. I'm just let y'all know. Your, your, uh, your eyebrows can be on point, all this other stuff. 
but your insides is from the streets. Yeah. So let me tell you this. <clears throat> so three things, because I'm not going to go too far in this. No, five things. Five things you want to look into and pay attention to when you're talking, when you're actually looking for, because so many of us fall for the trophy wife when we need to look for other values in women. Number one, bruh, this is what you need to be concerned with. Does she love God? Does she love God? I know some of this stuff may seem very simplistic and it makes sense. Oh man, of course, of course, duh. You be surprised how many Negroes uh, overlook or simply choose to avoid or disregard or ignore these simplistic, seemingly simple things. Number one, does she love God? And furthermore, is her God your God? Now, you know, we might have to, you know, we might respect other religions and all this other stuff. And we don't constantly, we don't want to uh, be, um, we don't want to just be outright disrespectful, mean towards people just because they are of a different religion. Even though we believe and we know that our God is the one true God. You find some woman that looks good but she worships some other false God. So number one, does she, not only does she worship God, your same God, does she love God? I did a whole series on beware of the pseudo Christian woman, the woman that uh, seemingly is Christian for all the wrong reasons, just for the benefits, just for the benefits that could benefit her life and what she can get out of Christianity, what man she can get or yeah. Yeah, so enough said. Go back and look at that series. So does she love God? That's number one. Y'all let me know you're here in the chat because there's something going on with my melon uh, whatever to where I cannot see the reader. I cannot see the count on this live stream or whatever. Y'all let me know if y'all in the chat. All right. Does she love God? Number two. And this is going to sound archaic, barbaric, uh, Fred Flintstone-ish, but I really don't care it doesn't count or it doesn't take away from the necessity uh, or the truth uh, of the matter. All right. Some of y'all modern women, y'all going to get mad at this. Bruh, can she cook or, or, or is she even willing to learn how to cook? You know, that's important. Y'all can't be eating out every day. All right. And if you can't burn, you know, praise God, I can cook. But, you know, my wife can cook as well, but I just happen to love to cook. So I do most of the cooking. All right. But that's real. That's real. Cause, listen, either you're going to lose a ton of weight or you your pockets going to be broke like on flat. Four flats on a Cadillac. You hear me? If she can't cook. And I know that sounds uh, there's a lot of feminine. Uh, fe uh, sorry. Uh, people who are on this fourth or fifth wave feminism who are just, ah, ah, you know, ah, yeah. Can you cook? Can you cook? Or y'all just going to starve or you're going to be fasting. <laughs> what you going to do? All right. So number one, does she love God? Number two, can she cook? Number three, guess what? This is going to sound archaic, archaic, archaic and barbaric too, but I really don't care. Fight me if you want to and see what happens. Can she keep the house clean? Can she, or does she uh, fight to keep the house clean? Does she long for a clean house? And does she try to keep the house as tidy as she can? And y'all, that becomes a challenge when you start to have kids because you know, kids, they play with toys and just, they call themselves, you tell them to put it up all day, but they mess around and they know what the routine is. They know when they play with a toy, go put it back up. They still choose to do what they do. Yeah. Jesus, lo Jesus loves you says, is she a housewife? Is she? Well, you know, my question is this. <laughs> let's take off the house and let's just say, is she a wife? Because there's certain things that make up a wife. All right. And these things, if you ask me, in my opinion, my humble opinion. Yeah, this makes up a wife. All right. 
a wife is not someone you can simply just have sex with. Uh, a wife is somebody you can do life with and build with and grow with and have them submit to you as you continue to love them in the way you should as the Bible calls us to. Amen. Number four, do your values align with each other? <laughs> Man, that's a big one. That is a really big one. I'm going to tell you why. That is a huge one. I'm going to tell you why. Because, listen, there's already so many differences uh, when we're talking about uh, a husband and a wife, a male and a female coming together, right? Like y'all could be different ethnicities. Uh, you could be uh, raised in different households. You definitely are raised in different households, right? Like yo, your parents raised you up with a certain set of values. Yo, your wife was raised with a certain sort of uh, set, set, certain set of values. All right, do those values align? Do y'all believe in? Uh, you know whooping your kids do y'all believe in that because if y'all both don't believe in that there's gonna be some problems and some friction all right do you uh do y'all believe that you know you should you should go to church on sundays and y'all you, you know fill, fill in the blank for whatever your values are do your values align and are they so important to where um you can't bend on some of those uh traditional things but definitely because, you know, marriage is about compromise, but you should never compromise to the point to where you're not your own person and to where you compromise those things that are germane to the faith. No pun intended. Do your values align. Number five, does she bring peace? Oh, this is a big one. Does she bring peace to the household? Mm, that's a big one. Proverbs 25, 24. Y'all know where I'm going. Proverbs 25, 24 says it's better to live on the corner of a roof than to share a household with a quarrelsome wife. It's better to live on the top of a roof or in the corner of a roof than to share a house with a quarrelsome wife. And amen to that. I hate him. Don't hate me. Hate the Bible. If you, I ain't write it. I ain't write it. It's better. It's better to live in on the corner of a roof than to share a household with a quarrelsome wife. Reddit J says, uh, so I'm fighting you on this. Uh, some men are not ready and prepared to be uh, prepared for a wife they desire. Well, that well, well you ain't got to fight me. I'm going to just tell you this. They probably shouldn't have been married in the first place then. We don't need grown dudes being kids in a marriage. Don't need that. So, there were, listen, there's some dudes, and I disagree with this. Some dudes get married because they say, oh, well, I don't want to fornicate. And yeah, that's true. That's true. But at the same time, if you're going to be, uh, you know, going into covenant agreement with a woman, going into covenant agreement with a woman, and I'm going to double back on that here in a minute, that you need to be able to man up and be a husband and be that Ephesians 5 man that the word of God is calling you to be. All right. And if dude is not ready for that, he shouldn't have been. Uh, I ain't going to go no further on that. <laughs> so before you go out there, young dude or old man or whatever your age is, before you go out there simping, talking about before you go out there simping, cantering grenades for girls for chicks all right just because she's beautiful please understand that there has to be more to that woman or more to that woman than her looks number five marital advice and oh well no that's 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 something totally different but yeah so yeah so that's the end of that y'all i'm trying something can she be a good mother oh yeah yeah oh oh for sure for sure but you know before you even get to that mother stuff you know unless she has a kid from a previous marriage or something then you know that's something that y'all address once she becomes a mother in the marriage as you continue to practice making babies you know what i'm saying yeah so <laughs> thanks for watching i hope this helps somebody on the other side of this video and for all the trolls or anybody else if you're offended, I really don't care. Just a product of
Christian Fail.